In France, looters don't even wait for the cover of darkness. Brazenly, they attack this Strasbourg Apple store. The depth of the crisis facing France has become alarmingly clear. Torched cars litter the streets of Nanterre, the suburb where teenager Niall was shot dead by police. The violence following his death has continued to escalate. More than 900 people have now been arrested. As anger bubbled over unbound, Jean-Pierre's shop was smashed up. His whole life's work was destroyed in a few minutes. I think they've gone too far. That won't move things forward. It's a bit of senseless violence, he tells me. The damage here is another clear sign of just how angry people are. But other people are absolutely devastated. I spoke to a lady who's lived in this community for more than 20 years, and she just told me she's really sad. She has never seen violence like this on the streets of her neighbourhood. As some search for answers, others turn to blame. President Macron's been criticised by a far-right politician for going to an Elton John gig as violence took hold on Wednesday. In turn, following a crisis meeting on the riots, the president's blamed social media for fueling the violence and asked parents to stop teens from joining the protests. It's the parents' responsibility to keep them at home, and so it's important for the calm of everyone that parental responsibility is fully exercised. But blame doesn't help residents like Hassan, who are watching their community crumble. When they, they break this kind of business and the city, in fact, they are breaking their, their life too. So... Uh, Makes you angry? Ah, uh, yes. Niall's shooting ignited the anger, but this MP tells me, despite government denials, it's racism that's fueled it for decades. There's racism among certain police officers that's been going on for years. So you're 20 times more likely to be stopped by police in France if you're North African or a black African. That's the reality. 45,000 police have been deployed. Buses and trams across the country stopped at night. As the government tried to regain control, France is bracing for more violence. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Nanterre.